I will not say anything about that. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, moving on. Yeah. Those were somehow. I think that was the least positive we've ever been about our peaks of the week. I think so. Yeah. Like it was weird. You usually at least for a positive. while. At least for it's been a while. Yeah. But you do really like um, the Dean song. I really do. Oh, like the this. Hayes song. Yeah. Um, this Hayes and Dean song. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you know what else we really like? And sometimes we don't thank them enough. We're not positive enough, even though we want to be positive. Yeah. And those are the people that support us on Patreon. And uh, I need to come up with a better system. I think I want to change to doing the shout outs at the, like, the first episode after it's all processed. But mm-hmm. right now, I kind of wait, like, a couple weeks just to make sure everything goes okay. Yeah. Um, maybe that's just too anal of me. I don't know. Yeah, but, but we haven't had any problems so far, right? Yeah, we haven't had any problems. I, I yeah. think I was more afraid, like, that some problems would happen mm-hmm. and, and that, that it, they weren't because our viewers are awesome. Yeah. Um, but recently, we have, we have 45 awesome people who donate money every week. I'm mm-hmm. sorry, every, every month. month. And so we want to give a shout out to our super awesome mega chingus who donate $25 or more every single month. Uh, so I want to thank Makai T. Got your name right. I hope that's right. We have Ben P, Lauren C, and Emma L. Thank you for your support. Yeah, these four people have been around for a very long time. And mm-hmm. together, that's $100 a month. And That's crazy. And that let us buy these lights. Yeah. That you haven't seen yet because I haven't finished the video episode. And it's times like this where I'm reading these people who gave us all this money and I'm just like... Guilty. I just feel so Just guilty. the guilt. Like, I'll um, be totally honest. Like, Overwatch has ruined my life. Like, pretty much what coincided with me stopping to do the uh, video, it, is video versions is when Overwatch came out. Because all I do... Is I play Overwatch. <laughs> I play a lot of Overwatch. Um, but game. anyways, it's a game. Uh, we do want to mention, though, of course, on Patreon, uh, where uh, we have a new goal, mm-hmm. and we are closer to the new goal. We are uh, compared to last episode. Uh, we are now at two hundred and eighty-five. We need fifteen more dollars to reach our three hundred dollar goal, and that new goal will be to provide a brand new type of podcast once a month. Yeah. It's kind of an interview slash discussion podcast. We we haven't done it yet. Mm-hmm. Um, we wanted to wait until after summer. Yeah. Um, if we don't reach that goal by August, we might just film like a pilot one just in case. And see how you guys kind of like it, whether or not you want it around and then... You know. Yeah. Um, but we just want to talk to people who live in Korea. Yeah. Korean people. Kind of a slice of life podcast, if you will. Yes. Like one that I really want to do. I don't know if this will ever be possible. Probably not. But I uh, recently I had um, some of my old students come back from high school. Mm-hmm. And uh, like my two favorite students of all time. And, you know, just talking to them about high school life mm-hmm. is just so painful. Oh, these, so these, so Stephen and I are teachers in Korea and we teach mainly middle school. And so his old students who were his middle school students are now high school students and I came back to visit him, which is common in Korea. Yes. And they're talking about the Korean high school. Life. Yes. Yeah. And it's especially uh, apparent to me because I was an American high school teacher mm-hmm. and like the, the experience is just so different. And I know people know they're like, Oh, you know, they got to work hard, work very hard, hard, blah, blah, blah. Or if you're like my students, and you're kind of uh, stereotypically racist. They're just like, well, Asians are just smarter. It's like, no, you don't understand. You don't not understand how hard they work that smart ass Asian yeah. like had to work. But uh, anyways, I really wanted to interview them. Like, I really wanted to like just hear them talk about like their life and, just their and story. how painful it is yeah. at certain times and how much like they, they hate it, but then they know it's necessary. And that just kind of viewpoint that you don't really get in America of yeah. like. It sucks, but I have to do it, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but we also want to talk to just normal people, right? Like yeah. people you know. Um, I don't know anybody other than two girls, two high school girls. Um, but we want to do kind of an interview series. Talk about yeah. whether they even like K-pop or talk about what their life is like at their job, whatever their job is or, or, yeah. or their past or stuff like that. And I think it'd be cool uh, because I don't think anybody else does that. Yeah. I don't Not think that I know. I don't think a lot of people can do that because Stephen and I are in a really peculiar position where we're English speakers who like K-pop in Korea. Right? Yeah, and and of the other people that live in Korea, they're usually like 
YouTubers, right? They're usually people that that do standard YouTube stuff. They don't do long form things, right? Mm-hmm. They don't do long form interviews. They definitely don't do podcasts. Uh, so we thought that'd be interesting. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, to get to that goal, you got to go to patreon.com slash this week in K-pop. Yeah. All links, of course, will be in all the descriptions. If you don't like Patreon, you can also help us by donating directly on PayPal. Uh, the link is paypal.me uh, slash this week in K-pop. A couple of people do that, uh, do that too. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, that's it for money. I feel like I'm losing my voice. Yeah, it really feels like it because you, I mean, so (laughs) living in Korea is hard because uh, your actually immune system does go down because living in a country is more stressful for you, even if it is like, you know, just as good quality of life. And Steve and I, we get sick quite often living in Korea. Yeah, I always had a bad body because I'm I'm fat and I don't take care of myself, right? (laughs) Um, okay, but in the last year, it's been especially uh, bad. Uh, yeah. But I do, f- I do feel like I'm getting kind of sick. I took a bunch of Advil earlier today, uh, yeah. but now apparently, I think I was arguing with you too much, and now my voice is suddenly leaving. So I hope the audio is still okay. But let's get to it then. We gotta yeah. speed this up. Speed it up. The next song that I want to talk about is by ostensibly a brand new group. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not sure if this is technically their debut song, but I think it is. Um, this is a new group called V Romance with their new song, She. Korean, it's definitely supposed to be bromance. But there's no kind of Korean sound for V. Yeah. So it's kind of a B sound. So, but then they spelt it with V still. Yeah. Um, bromance. But it's supposed to be bromance. Yeah. Uh, so these are uh, four dudes. They're under mm-hmm. Rainbow Bridge World. Yeah. Uh, which is also Mama. Is that right? Rainbow Bridge Rainbow World? World? Yeah. That's, that's. Sounds so wrong. It's but it so. Might be right. Yeah. It's so bad, but that's the company. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I thought maybe I wrote it down wrong. Uh, but it is the same company that uh, has Mamamoo. Mm-hmm. Um, they also have uh, Basic from Show Me The Money 4. Uh, they're also co-managers of Phantom and Geeks. Yeah. Um, which I didn't know that. I actually learned yeah. that. So, I mean, so they have some like good names in there. And in the music video, Hwasa from Mamamoo doesn't make an appearance. So. Yes. So being the brother group of Mamamoo comes with a certain number of expectations. Yeah. And the main expectation is... Can they sing? Answer is yes, they can. Yes, they can. Yeah. Um, now, they compare themselves, at least in the description of the video, to groups like uh, 2, P- 2 AM yeah. and Noel. Yeah. But uh, this song is totally not a generic ballad uh, vocal group yeah. song. Yeah. I think Noel, like four men. Uh, even sometimes yeah. too big, two AM. Those guys are mainly ballad singers, mm-hmm. and this song is nothing like a ballad. Yeah, uh, it's not even a ballad with a beat. It no. is much more poppy. Yeah. Um, it's not similar to Mamamoo in a sense, mm-hmm. but it is more in the realm of Mamamoo than other. Because uh, yeah. Mamamoo is also a vocal group. Sans the the one rapper that's got a rap and everything. Uh, but they sing more poppy songs or yeah. R&B-ish uh, yeah. songs. The way I would describe this song is actually very similar to some of the songs that uh, Mamamoo released when they kind of debuted around that time. Like a very Motown-y, mm. but with a pop kind of more poppy sound 
to it. So I would kind of say this song is Motown stylistically, but it is very much a pop song, very catchy. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. They do a lot of, like, in the beginning, Mamamoo, like, uh, didn't really dance dance, right? Mm -hmm. They, like, had a mic stand, and they Mm -hmm. would do some dancing, some movements. Um, Recently, now, they actually go full out dancing. Yeah. Um, but this group starts the same, right? They yeah. got mic stands. Sometimes they're passing the mic. Yeah. Uh, as you said, it's very Motowny. Yeah. Like they kind of dance, but it's more just like pose dancing. Pose dancing. Yeah. Um, but they don't need to really dance because I think the highlight, of course, is, is their voices. Yeah. And I think what really sets this song apart from different songs is the way they kind of layer their voices and their harmonies. I yeah. think are very clean. Yeah. And a lot of times in these kind of vocal groups, they may harmonize, but it's usually just at the end, right? Yeah. Well, it's usually like just at a... Down, yeah. It only song. happens for a little bit. Yeah. Um, and you're always like, damn, I wish they would harmonize more. Um, and in this song, they they have a very specific, like, hello, 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 you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, that happens a lot, and I, and I really like it. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of layering, because mm-hmm. uh, one of the dudes can sing really fucking high. Really high. Um, and yeah. he gets layered in a lot, and it sounds great. Um, I th- I do think you said one of the the downsides that you didn't yeah. like was that even though they have four members, they do all sound very similar, you said. Yeah. Which is kind of true. I think a huge kind of problem uh, kind of Korean musicians have is that their voices have a certain flavor to them. And it's very apparent uh, in this song. Like, don't get me wrong, they're very, very good singers and they harmonize very well. But... If you had told me that there are three guys in this group and not four, I wouldn't know the difference. Right. Right. If you told me that there's two guys and not four, I would not tell the difference. I know there's more than one, for sure. But, you know, with modern kind of technology and like production, you can layer voices and layer the same voice and it'll sound really full. Yeah. Um, but I think this group will shine more in like live performances and, you know, things like that. Mm. But... Uh, in kind of like a produced track, it doesn't really shine as much having a similar sounding voice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I, I do agree that they do have very similar sounding. They're still great voices, though. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't really know what else you would do, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, like the only thing I could think of is like maybe if they were an acapella group, like if they were an acapella group, right. then you'd bring in the, the, the dude with the bass, right? Mm-hmm. The dude, you know, who has... A, a low voice, but yeah. usually in in vocal groups, I feel like you kind of I, I don't know I don't listen that much to AM. Hmm. Uh, how many members do they have four? Right? They have four also. Like, yeah. did they also have the same problem with similar yeah. sounding? Because I, I just I feel like two AM their voices definitely have more kind of parody to them mm. compared to this group. Obviously, I've heard tons more two AM songs, yeah, right. right? And this is I guess quote unquote their debut song, even though they've released the song last week. 